So we are here at the 2023 National Heavy Duty Truck Rally in Hutchison, Kansas. And again, we're here at the Kansas State Fairgrounds. We were informed by Steve and Lisa that coordinates the rally that we have uh, over 50% are gonna be newcomers. So we're excited about that and excited about seeing all of the friends that we've made that have been here before. So in this video, we're just gonna show you a little bit of people coming in and, and the excitement is in the air.
are you? Good, how are you? <laughs> you do, soaring together. <laughs> rally and it's Thursday afternoon the week before the rally and there's several folks that are coming in early so um, there were several came in today and we had several that came in we've been here a couple days so actually we've been here we got here Sunday and this is Thursday so the week has gone by fast pre-rally week we've been having some potlucks at night and just uh, enjoying our time with everyone. Looks like we're gonna have some beautiful rigs here this week. There's supposed to be over 100 rigs here this week, so definitely in the next few days, they'll be piling in here. So over here, you can see Warren's up on the roof. Hey, Warren! <laughs> and the ladies are getting our tables ready for our potluck tonight. I wanted to slow down and show you this rig. This is a Lux. And look at, they got the trike that matches the gold color in their truck and their Lux. And there's Big D and D Lux. We, you met them. They were with us in Michigan for a week. They're going to be so crowded in here by the weekend that you won't get a good look at some of the rigs. So I wanted to ride around where there's space. So this one, I think, had a van that they were hauling in the back of it. Out cleaning his windshield, getting the bugs off after he's been on the road a few days. Okay. So this is Kathy. Hi. And she's the owner of Miss D and Deluxe. And what's the car's name? Mini D. Mini D. Mini D. That's but right. Kathy has a free library. That's right. You know, take a book, leave a book, love a book, keep a book. I'm spreading reading one RV park at a time. So I've got all different kinds of varieties. So it can be children's books, teenager books, adult books, male, female history, fiction. Got it all right there. That's right, even a Bible. We even give a Bible. We leave a Bible in there, and then when one is taken, we go ahead and put another one in. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And then water for the dogs. And water for the dogs, because we don't have a pet, so this is our dog treat thing. So when you're out walking around, you can get the treat, get the water for the dog. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here with uh, Randy, and he's here for the Heavy Duty Truck Rally. And this is your second or third year? Uh, we've been here uh, three times, and then uh, Caldwell a couple times. But this year he has a brand new truck to show us. Tell us what you got. Um, this is a 2023 uh, International Lone Star. Uh, you told me your wife picked it out. My wife picked it out. <laughs> it's uh, the truck she wanted so it, she gets the credit or the blame either way. But, so uh, Ricky really wishes that I wanted one of these. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it makes it easier when the spouse agrees. <laughs> Absolutely right. Absolutely. So we're going to 
uh, look around the truck and Randy's going to tell us some things about it. So you had the bed built in Florida? Um, yep, Jesse Hall in uh, Lakeland, Florida uh, built the bed and uh, if anybody's familiar with it, uh, Rob Cornelius, mayor of Margaritaville, had his done and uh, we saw a video of his and that's how we uh, got connected with uh, Jesse. So we're uh, real happy with how it turned out. And I'm really fascinated by some of the customizing that they did to make the bed match the truck exactly. So you're gonna show us some of that. All right, right. sounds good. Okay. Sounds good. We'll just walk around and you just show right. us. So one we of the things you told us yesterday was you got these little, just these little screws match the screws that were on the truck. They, uh, the attention to the detail was, uh, yeah, the same same uh, screws they have on here, they did all the way around the truck, and then with the lighting, they used the exact same lights that uh, came on the truck, and uh -huh. they followed the spacing and everything all the way around the bed, and uh, for me, just the attention to detail, where they're located and everything centered, and uh, I get a little funny about that stuff, but, uh, yeah. but uh, no, we're very happy with it. It's... Uh, um, we've got the compartments up front, and then they have uh, also just some wet compartments here for for storage. Just good use of the space in the wheel well. And then you said this was hydraulic. And then, yeah, if anybody remembers uh, Rob Cornelius's truck, he had the air where it lifted up the gate. With these, it's actually uh, hydraulic, and they come out. Wow. For us, us, the ones that are getting a little bit older, it's nice not having to get down and uh, yeah. to get into the side doors or the doors that flip up. So. That's really neat. These lights are matching some lights that are up on the truck, right? Yeah, they use the uh, uh, same assembly um, that's on the air cleaner of the truck and uh, just put different lenses back here. Uh, but otherwise, it's the same uh, light assembly as they have in the front of the truck, which is nice and kind of ties it all together. And uh, they did a lot of things like that with the uh, bed lights they have that are Frenched in and match the backup lights, which are, are very nice. Yeah. Then the ramps just come straight out here, which is nice. I don't have to, you know, go and around. A lot of people have them up there and they have to bring them back here or, or put them off the side for yeah. the smart so, car. But that works out really nice for us. We really like that. Yeah, just the detail, you know, on the back is really nice. They did a nice job and um, and we're really happy with that. And you have E.T. Hitch. E.T. Hitch, yep. And uh, uh, Jack installed that for us. And uh, and then we have the, uh, the box. Uh, but the if you're drop. wondering what that hole is in his box, <laughs> that's where his side-by-side... -side. The side-by-side -side rides in there. We can go a little bit farther forward so we don't have to... Gives uh, you a little more clearance for yeah, the Yeah, we don't have to be that much longer otherwise for the clearance. So, yeah. but, uh, but that's nice, and it's nice having that, that storage up there also. But, uh, <laughs> But even with the, the polished, they follow that all the way through the way off through. the truck, which is really nice. And, they, and uh, I like the polished over the fenders. That's really yes, pretty. Yes, we, we really like that. Like uh, your trucks and the uh, medium duties have that, and it's just a sharp yeah. look. You know, it's really sharp. And then uh, they put the steps in, which are nice for get, getting uh, on and off getting the truck. Them, yeah. And actually here, uh, they gave us poles we can put in if we're set up, so we can just use that as a grab to, to, to and climb it up and And it makes for a good flagpole, too. And it makes for a great flagpole holder, absolutely. And, uh, and I didn't show you there, but uh, Jesse did put a, a gooseneck in here, the flip ball, uh -huh. so we can use that if we have a gooseneck trailer we're hauling or anything like that. And uh, the hydraulics are right in the middle. And he has that so we can open the door, pull the pin, and flip that ball if we need so it's really easy to yeah. access. But uh, very pretty. And my wife found the 
private coach sign. Private I know it's not coach. for the not not for hire. So, <laughs> but uh, but if somebody looks close enough, they should get the idea. Yep. But well, it's a very pretty rig. Thank you very much. Then you have the DRV. Yours is the the rear kitchen double bath, and uh, Jody likes the rear kitchen. Yeah. And I've been real happy with that. Well, you've got a beautiful setup. Oh, thank you for showing us your lovely truck. Thank your you rig is much. beautiful. Appreciate yeah. it. I've been working on their trucks and helping each other out, doing different things. And Ricky's been cleaning wheels and um, everybody's getting their trucks clean, their rigs clean, ready for next week. Camera's Where's running? your crimpers? So what, you, what are you doing, yeah. Paul? Hey, did you get that one off? What did you hey, tell him earlier, huh? Denise? That if he made a mess, Paul could fix it. Well, we're in business. I just <laughs> don't know. I he tried, and we're going to give him points for trying, Denise. Well, okay. He had them working. They just weren't working correctly. Well, crimpers? Yeah. Or need to go for a walk. I don't create dry. Well, let me get a uh, hold. Hey, wait so what's minute. going on around here? I don't know, I'm eating lunch and laughing. <laughs> <laughs> so we're putting on more lights, Ricky? Yeah. What are those called? I don't know, hold it up right now. Oh, they're rubber. Man, hold. What you think? They gonna be too long? Waiting on. You ain't got it tight. I know. Yeah, leave it, leave it like that. Say, Doc, come look at this and see if it's right. See, the red's supposed to go back. Oh. Okay, you swap them around. It's no big deal. When they make them, they only put them in one way. They can't. Awful hot. I better have hot water when they're done. Well, I thought he said the electric worked now, and when involved. it didn't You're work okay. before. Warren's involved. You're okay. You'll have hot water. That's good. That's good. <laughs> you just want hot water. <laughs> yeah, by the time they're done, that would be nice. I had hot water this morning. I better have hot water, water today. <laughs> <laughs> so what are they doing to it? Servicing it. It's mm -hmm. supposed to be serviced once a year. And that's your aqua hot that even heats your floor and everything? Oh, I don't know about that. Oh. I know it heats my hot water for the shower and the sink. <laughs> that's all I know. I don't know too much about this stuff. But uh, I don't know if that heats the floor. Wow, but they, it's supposed to be serviced. So Don bought all the components to, to service it. And we were going to stop at um, Space Gear to do it. But they were closed. We went by Saturday. So they, he had been going back and forth with Warren. And Warren did some research, and he says, "Oh, I could do that." So he's learning. Yeah. Hopefully, Warren's teaching him for the next time, so he can serve. Yeah, him. that's good. If yeah. you take and sand this out, right, you can get it to look like that. But oh, it's gonna take a long time. It's gonna take more than what I'm doing. Yeah. I'm not gonna sand. No. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. Thank you. 
Yeah, we'll get the tank clean. Or seeing if I've been doing a decent job of flushing. So how's it look so far? Not bad. Not bad. We're still pulling stuff out. Go ahead with the hyperjet. It will get it. Everything cleaned off the walls and everything. And I'll, you know, yeah. get it back to pack, you know, packed and clean. And then we'll do, I'll do, you know, probably at least three or four flushes. You know, again, make sure that that's fine. Is that your name on your shirt? Yeah. Clean tank. Mm -hmm. yeah. Southwest Idaho. Southwest Idaho. There's a nationwide network of dealers. Okay. Yeah. And like my wife and I, we spend about six months a year in Idaho, and then we'll go south for the winter when it's too cold to do it there. Where do you go in the south? Well, it's not very far south, but we're going to Oklahoma City down by Oklahoma City. We've got a daughter down there with a bunch of kids that we're going to spend a couple months. And then down to Texas. And then I want to get out by Arizona after the first of the year. Go to maybe Mesa or something like that. We'll catch you later, Paul. Bye. Thank you for joining us here at the rally and we'll have some more videos to come later in the week and next week. And we're uh, just planning for a good time and good fellowship and learning a lot about our trucks and our trailers and we want you to join us. Stay tuned for more videos of the 2023 National Heavy Duty Truck Rally and we'll see you later. Thanks for watching. <music>